Okay, we'll start with a Mustard C52S, size 4, Stinger hook. I have a Dyneema 55, this is the Cigar. We'll attach our tying thread at the rear of the hook. And we just go back a wee ways. So we're hanging more or less level with the point. Remove that. Uh, this is a very popular uh, attractor dry fly for saltwater sea trout fishing, uh, especially during the night. So what we want now is some uh, turkey marabou black. I want a little plume. I like to use the the, the tips of a marabou plume with nice tapered uh, tips. This I believe gives a much better action in the water. I'll just measure that and trim it off. And just a couple of three turns to make sure it's in the right position. That's good. I'm happy with that. So then we can go forward. Pull all that back. We don't want that to interfere with the spinning of the deer hair. So once I've secured that and just tacked it down, I'll just go around and remove the hose surplus ends. There we are. That's looking good. And I want to go all the way back again into the tail base. And what I'll do here is I'll put a whip finish right at the base of the tail as I don't want to tighten that up. And then I'll put a tiny drop of super glue up on that because I don't want that moving when I pack the deer hair. I don't want it pushing backwards and that'll keep the everything in place. So now we can go forward a couple of turns and I want to spin my GSP thread uh, anti-clockwise to flatten it. Then what we need is uh, some black uh, deer belly hair. This is uh, the belly hair is much better for spinning. So I'll take the first bunch of that. I've stacked the butt hands here. So we go in there and I'll make one, two turns, and then I'll really tighten it. Go forward. Fold it all back. Take care not to trap any of the hairs. That's good. A little ways forward. And another bunch. Remember to clean and stack these bunches before you tie them in. Again, once twice, tightening. Now we can let it spin. Go forward. A couple of turns forward again. Now, holding at the base of the tail, I can take my hair packer now it's important when you pack, you twist a little from side to side. This will uh, push the deer hair in between each other. And we carry on just like that until we get to the hook eye. Like so. And then I'll spin my tying thread clockwise to give it a round profile. For the whip finish. And what that does is 
the round profile will cut through any hairs that are trapped at the front. Now, because I'm using Dyneema, and then I'll take a, a black marker and just colour my thread. And I'll come in give it a whip finish. One more. Tighten up. Oops. Remove that. Then what we need is a toothbrush. And I found that uh, just an old stiff toothbrush is just as good as anything that you can buy and considerably cheaper. So let me just go through this. This is just to pull out the fibres if there are any trapped deer hairs before we start trimming the body into that like that. Excellent. Then what we need is our stone foil uh, razor blade holder and we can start at the front we want the front to be broader than the back so it's kind of cigar shaped hence the name Swap my blade around, cutting deer hair. It does blunt, blunt the blades very quickly, even when you're hunting and you're skinning a deer, your knife edge will blunt very quickly. So we just carry on now until the correct shape. Is achieved. You must take care, of course, not to cut the tail. Watch the tail. And then all we need to do is just a drop of super glue on the whip finish. Remove any glue. Guy. And that's the finished Danish cigar sea, uh, sea trait pattern. A fabulous pattern, as I said, for night fishing and a real attractor when stripped through the surface. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.